Hello and good morning. Welcome to your daily readings for the 15th of Monday, the 15th of July, 2024. I'm Hem from Self Love Self, Self Care System. I'm going to be doing our daily readings from the Midnight Magic Tarot Deck of Mushrooms. Now, I do apologise for doing the same deck like twice in a row, but I don't know where my other ones are, and we're getting ready tonight because it's the football. And you know, you guys know I do the readings on the Monday, on the Sunday. So yeah, so I'm doing these because it's just easier for me and going to be much quicker for me because I know where they are. Whereas the other ones, I'm just going to be scrabbling around. So I don't know where I put them. <laughs> so so yes, yeah, so these are the ones that we've got. All right, my lovelies. So I'm going to get our three cards. I get the energy of the day. Well, in England, if we win, it'd be really, really good. <laughs> I hope so anyway. Well, you lots of people have got to go to work, so they may not be thinking it's really, really good. Um, I'm going to get a problem if there is one and a solution. Let's see what this Monday wants to give to us. Apparently all the cards. They're probably saying this girl's in a crazy mood. But yeah, I'm, I'm a little, I'm, yeah, I mean, I'm, I don't watch football, football, and I do support football over here, but I'm not really a big, and I know Americans, you guys call it soccer, right? But um, yeah, it's just, it's a, we call it football over here. So yeah, anyway, yeah, so we get a problem there as well. And they just give me a solution because they're struggling to give me cards. So let's see what we've got. Okay, so for our energy of the day, oh wow, <laughs> you can't, you can't, it's beautiful. We've got the lovers, the lovers card, right? And it seizes a mushroom, seizes mushroom. The lovers are about something coming together, something reconnecting, and it's about the, the energy and the vibration is of people making good, people being supportive. There's this energy and this vibration of togetherness. Where something was broken, things will come back in. Obviously, the lovers has another capacity and another message. It's like two, you might find a lover, or you may, two lovers may have break and uh, make up after an argument. There is that too. But this particular reading is not talking about that. The angels are talking to me about, they're saying, no, it's about high level abundance. And it's about where something was broken, something is going to be fixed. And it, they're talking about love vibration across the board. And they're saying that love is going to penetrate this particular day for you guys. Um, and, oh, and within the week, because they, they're they saying to me, remember to say to you guys that the readings are cumulative as we go through the week. Anything else, angels? Yeah, they, yeah, they're talking about coming together. So they are, they're literally talking about these like two heads coming together. So it's almost this sense of almost business in Business is a weird way of putting this, but it's a kind of loving relationship with another. Um, two countries coming together, uh, or countries coming together, or people coming together. There's something in that, but there's a deep love in the energy and the vibration of this. Okay, so do we have a problem? Yeah, a little bit. We've got the Devil's Cigar, which is the Five of Pentacles. It's, it's kind of interesting because it's like... It's not a big problem, but it's more a kind of naughtiness, a cheekiness, a devilishness. And it, it's surrounded around the energy of the five, the vibration of the five. And it's connecting into how you may be attempting to, let's say, change things by using um, an energy and a vibration that isn't so high vibrationally because it's, it's basically, I need to explain what they're telling me because I sometimes want to talk and they're talking about something else. They're talking about there's five opportunities and they're saying five links to transmutation. They're also saying to me five also links because it's the pentacles to monetary stuff, right? And they're saying to me that there's an air of abundance featured in this. I do need to read it from the book because there's something they want me to say that I'm not getting and I can't. And I, They keep saying it to me, but I'm not quite sure what they mean. Um, I just want to see if this is what, if it's in, if it actually says it here, what they're talking about. Oh. Yeah, because I was saying it's about cheekiness, about losing something, about being thrown off. So they're talking about you, so this card's in this book. They're saying it's about you losing something or maybe losing your handle on something. But there's a cheekiness to it because that's what I'm getting from the angels. Like you, you're being kind of naughty. It's not necessary to do this. Okay, I want you to think about that because that's kind of like a, 
are you kind of pushing something more than you ought to? That kind of thing, right? And then we don't really need a solution, but we've got the Five of Cups. And I like that we've got the Five of Cups because it links in with this relationship card here. And it <laughs> and the Lovers card here. And it links into... <laughs> Sorry, it does make me laugh when they do that because it's me putting them on really badly. Um, but this card is the five of, a five of Cups and it goes with the lovers because it's relationship and it's about transforming your relationships in a way. But it's a slow progress in transforming your relationships. And it's also with regard to connecting into the fact that while you're slowly progressing, watch out, there are people that may be watching from the sidelines trying to impede on this. This is important. It's quite hi let me look at it let me explain it to you now it's like governments getting together it's like it's high this is high high vibrationally something big is coming together for you but in a loving way and this is the transmutation in it created in it and this is something that could stand in your way if you're not careful it could lose something if you're not careful on this journey as you do this but i hope that makes sense but there's like a there's anything else angels there yeah, be careful not to be cut down here as well. It's a sense of something trying to cut you down and stop you from feeling the energy in the way that you're wanting to feel it. Yeah, absolutely so. Yes, yes, yes. Anything else? Yeah, it's all right you're staying stable. Stay stable even when the wind is trying to push you. And stay stable in whatever is happening around you. So I do want to say, if um, England won yesterday, I just want to say yay. And if we didn't, I just want to send commiserations to everyone that really wants us to win. Because I know that some of you would have been watching the football, so I thought I'd better send that out. Even though I don't know the results right now while, I'm, while you're watching this. Even though it's actually happened. This is kind of that thing, isn't it? Where they say that time is actually circular and it's happening all at the time. So somewhere in that big scheme of things, it's already happened, hasn't it? You know it. You know the answer. Well, I don't. But it's interesting. I've confused you there, haven't I? Have a little think on that and see what I meant. <laughs> All right, my lovelies, take care. Have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Monday. If you do feel called and you've been watching my channel for a while, please do subscribe. Um, there will be a couple of videos above. One of them is a um, an unboxing of this deck. So if you're interested, do check it out. And if you do feel like having a reading or a healing with me, do check out my website, www selflovesselfcaresystem.com and if you're interested in chakra course that I'm doing do drop something in the comments and I will let you know all about it as soon as I can namaste everyone have a beautiful Monday and I will see you tomorrow lots of love bye bye